Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be working on minuet number one, which is song three out of the second Suzuki cello book. Uh, it's by J.S. Bach. Uh, very nice classical piece. It's 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 rather simple. Um, good solid melody to it, and it does have some pardon me interesting um, some interesting stuff with shifts. Um, basically. We're going to be working on shifts from first position to second position, uh, basically where your, pardon me again, second finger is uh, where your fourth normally would go. Um, other than that, um, yeah, it's rather straightforward. So let's go ahead and get uh, let's get into it and see what it sounds like. So uh, starting at the beginning, one, two, three, one, two. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and look at the first trouble spot, uh, which is going to be measure five into measure six. Um, so the we'll take it slow, um, and let's just go ahead and look at those notes really quick. Apologize, uh, my cat was in here earlier. I'm getting cat hair right now. So <clears throat> uh, let's go ahead and start at five. We'll go ahead and take it at a slower tempo. Um, the shift that you're going to be working on is uh, four, two, one, open, and then down to four. Uh, there we are. Uh, and then you'll play the uh, C with your second finger, the A with your fourth finger on the next string up, and then shifting back into first position. So um, let's go ahead and play that nice and slow. Uh, yeah, so five, or measure five, I apologize, uh, and then we'll just take it nice and slow. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. Um, so just keep in mind you have two notes and shifted, and then you're right back into first position. Uh, let's go ahead and play that again, same pace. One, two, three, one. So, let's go ahead and wrap that all together. Uh, let's go ahead and just do measure 1 through measure 8, which will be the entire first section, and then we can put it together from there. So, uh, keeping the same slow tempo, uh, let's go ahead and just play 1 through 8. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2... Um, <clears throat> we do have some accents in measure one and in measure three uh, on the notes with the, uh, I guess the first one would be a tie, the second one would be a slur. Um, ties are notes that are repeated um, on the same pitch, and slurs are notes that um, are tied together underneath the, the same bow, but change pitch. I was unaware of the difference for a very long time, um, <clears throat> because I was just looking at the sheet music, I didn't know what the names of them were. Uh, so let's go ahead and do measure one through eight, keep in mind um, the accents on the tied and slurred notes, and then we can move on from there. 
Um, if you're having a little bit of trouble with the shifts, we do have some practice after this song that we can work on. And then as you go through and practice the song uh, a little bit later on down the road, you can integrate the practice from the last two lines on this page, which are not actually attached to the song. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do a measure of one through eight. And if you're having a little bit of trouble with those second position, uh, the, the shifts that are in there, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll work on that uh, a little bit separate later. We have a couple of other sections where that shows up too. So uh, let's go ahead and keep that same slow tempo. One, two, three, you know, that same tempo. And we'll do measure one through eight and then we'll move on to the next section. So one, two, three, one, two. Okay, so we are moving on to measure nine. Uh, measure nine, or measures nine through twelve, don't really have anything outlandish or strange in them. Uh, in measure thirteen, we have the exact same figure that we did. Um, they, they were, we were just working on the shifts with, but we are working on them a string up. So we're starting on the A instead of the D. Exact same fingering, exact same setup. Um, and then from there, measure 13 through 20 don't really have anything outlandish. And then we have the exact same figure from the first section that we just worked on uh, in measure 21 and 22. Uh, so it's a repeated figure. Um, and then we get right to the end. So... Um, Let's go ahead and work on that trouble section at measure 13 and measure 14. Um, it's going to be the exact same thing, one string up. So it's going to be... just has a slightly different end to it. Um, it doesn't have eighths, it's just straight quarters. So go ahead and join me. Um, we'll just play measure 13 and 14. One two three one two um let's do that one more time and one of the things that you can use um you can use to check if your shift position is correct so we have the in measure 13 and then we come to the uh g on the d string with a second finger right you can actually play the string underneath it to figure out if you're in tune. Not quite. We were almost there. You can use that to double check yourself. So let's go ahead and play measure 13 and 14 one more time. Um, it's still keeping that slow tempo. And go ahead and join me. One, two, three, one, two. Um, let's do that one more time and then we can uh, hit that section at 21, which we technically already worked on, but something something uh, basically the same. Uh, let's go ahead and do 13 and 14 and then we'll then we'll move on. So still that same slow tempo. One, two, three, one, two. Um, okay, let's do 21 and 22. So one of the other things that you can do um, to make sure that your top note is in tune uh, is use the string above it. This is going to be a perfect example. So you can, uh, we've already covered that. Then to make sure that your next note is in tune. Yeah, I was a little bit sharp there. So, so you, that, you can use that kind of a setup to, to really help lock in what you're doing and where you are. Uh, let's go ahead and do 21 and 22. We'll run through that twice and then we'll start tying everything together. So, one, two, three, one, two. Um, <clears throat> okay, so let's do that one more time and then let's actually double check our notes as we go through and do them uh, at the shift. So, um, 
we'll go ahead and play until we hit that shifted two, and then we'll check it with a note underneath, or with this open string underneath. And then we'll play the next note, uh, which is gonna be that A, and then check it with a string above. I'm always a little bit sharp there, don't know why. Um, so, 21. Uh, one, two, three, one, two. Let's do that one more time. One, two, three, one, two. And that'll put us in exactly the right position. So uh, let's go ahead and do measure nine through 16, which will be that first chunk. Um, and keep in mind, we do have dynamics. Uh, so we start piano, so it needs to be a little bit quieter, um, and then we do have a crescendo in measure 13 and a decrescendo in measure 15 into measure 16. Uh, so we'll be starting mezzo piano at measure 17. Um, okay, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start measure nine. We'll run nine through 16, uh, still at that same tempo though. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs> One more time, um, and keep in mind if you're having a, if you're having trouble with those shifts still, we have a little bit of practice we can do afterwards um, that you can work on that separately so that you can work on this song a little bit later and get things a little bit tighter, get things a little bit more confidently under your fingers. So measure nine, one, two, three, one, two. <laughs> Seventeen to the end. One, two, three, one, two. Now let's do that one more time. So seventeen to the end, same pace. One, two, three, one, two. Okay, so let's go ahead and tie that all together then. Um, let's go ahead and start at the beginning. We'll do that first section. Uh, so measures one through eight, we will take the repeat. Um, so we'll just go ahead and start and then hit the repeat, go back to the beginning, and then play to the end. Let's see if we can kick that up a step in terms of tempo, uh, getting it closer to an allegretto. So, one, two, three, one, two. quite fluid with that shift yet or you're worried about it's it's being in tune we do have that practice section after this so let's go ahead and do measure nine to the end keeping in mind we do have the dynamics in place and then we also have a retard um, at the end of the second time through so let's go ahead and play through it once and then we'll play through it the second time um, with the retard and then we can wrap everything up so let's go ahead and do measure nine to the end taking the repeat um, <clears throat> and then keep in mind we do have that we do have the dynamics, and then we also have the retard the second time through. And then we can tie everything together, and then we can go from there. So, uh, measure nine to the end, take the repeat, retard second time through at the end. One, two, three, one, two. <laughs>
Let's go ahead and tie it all together and uh, we should be all set. So let's go ahead and take it at the beginning, take the repeat, measure 9 to the end, take the repeat, retard the last measure. If nothing else, this is a lot of practice for those shifts into second position and then uh, yeah, we can we can take a look at the individual works at the end, uh, just kind of those little practice lines and then we'll be set. So. Now that we have everything together, uh, let's go ahead and start at the beginning, take all the repeats, and uh, retard at the second time through of the second section. Go ahead and join me. One, two, three, one, two. practice lines really quick um, and that will give us something that we can work on independently from the song so you're not having to go through and play the exact same thing in infinitely um, so you're not having to play you know measure one through eight to be able to hit one section um, so with this we're going to have a um, so it'll be a shift Working on working on confidence in shifting and also accuracy. So go ahead and join me here. Uh, we'll just take it nice and easy. Keep in mind this is four four, so it'll be one two three four, um, and we will just go from there. So uh, one two three four one two three. Pause shift. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. One, two, three, four. Pause. So keep in mind, with this, you can check the string underneath it. I was pretty close. So let's go ahead and do that uh, one more time, and then we will, uh, once we do the shift, we'll play the note, and then play the string underneath it to make sure that we are in tune. So one, two, three, four. Shift. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next section. Um, do, 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 do. So it's the exact same thing, it's just different notes so that they can fit it all on the page, basically. It is. Which is the exact same thing that we were playing earlier. Um, but keep in mind. Then, the next note, you can check with the open string above it. See, I was a little sharp there. Um, I tend to be sharp on that particular shift, and I don't know why. Um, so, let's go ahead and play it still at that one, two, three. Uh, and then we'll double check as we play the notes. And make sure that we're in tune. So, uh, we'll go ahead and join me. One, two, three, four. So, uh, again, it's a little rough, uh, but this is more of a tonality instead of a rhythmic thing, uh, so you're wanting to make sure that your notes are in tune. Um, the rhythm is kind of whatever at this point. This is, this is a 
tonality practice. So, one, two, three, four. Everything seems to be in tune. Uh, let's go ahead and do the second line really quick. We'll run through that and get that out of the way. And then we will be done for the evening. So, um, do, 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 do. yeah. Um, starting at the last line, we'll do the first section, um, which is basically the exact same thing as the other practice chunk that we were working on. It's just up a string. Uh, when we do the second section, we go up. There's not an open E string that we can play, uh, so you can just move it down a string and double check there, kind of a deal. Um, so instead of an E, you'll be playing an A against an open A, just to make sure that you've got everything in place. Um, so, first two measures of the last line, one, or go ahead and join me, one, two, three, shift, check it, and that'll put you right there. So let's go ahead and do that one more time and then move on. Um, one, two, three, four. Shift, check it, and then let's go ahead and play the last measure with the last little note there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Ready? One, two, three, four. Uh, so you can't really can't really run that, but if you take where your finger is, your fourth finger is on the A string. Drop it down a string. You can then check it against the upper string. Basically, you're dropping it to fifth and then playing it against the open string. Um, not exactly what they have written here, but it's it's what I do to make sure that I'm still in tune. Um, so let's go ahead and do that one more time, and then we'll call it a day for the uh, call it a night. We'll call it done. So <clears throat> still that same speed. One, two, three. <laughs> So I would work on this separate from the song if you have problems or you're unsure where you're shifting to, um, <clears throat> and then that'll give you a lot better roadmap as to where you are and what needs to happen. Uh, if you are consistently, you know, if you are... So you can figure out if you're not shifting far enough or if you're shifting too far and you need to dial it back some. Um, and then working on uh, minuet number one will definitely get uh, get you some polish on not just the exact same uh, routine notes to get into that second position shift um, and kind of give you some other things with which you can work on the musicality of making sure that your shifts are nice and clean and you don't have the... <laughs> which is when you hear somebody sliding in the middle of that to make to make sure that they hit the note is a little obnoxious. So you want to make sure that you can right onto the note. It, it really does, uh, it really cleans up the music and also uh, kind of demonstrates your ability as a musician and your skill. So something to keep in mind. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Um, practice a lot and uh, I will catch you all next time. Have a good night.